Hello everyone. Today I'm starting uh, unit two, lesson two point four, filtering from uh, science Cambridge Primary Science Learner Book. So let's start filtering. Find out how to separate a mixture of a solid and a liquid. Draw a clean diagram, record observation and table and diagram. So inshallah today we will discuss about this. Filter, filter paper, funnels and layer. So we are using filter in different places, mostly for cleaning the water which we are drinking. How could you separate the dirt from the water? Obviously we are using filtration method. So let's start, go to page number 52. How does a filter work? Dirty water is a mixture of solid and liquid materials. We can separate the insoluble solids from the liquid by puring the mixture through a filter through a filter so we are putting at least two to three jars to make uh, to clean the water so a filter has holes like a sieve that let some of the mixture pass through solid in the mixture stay in the filter because the pieces are too big to pass through the holes a sieve is a kind of filter but most filters have much smaller hole or we are using mostly more than one and also we are using funnels in funnel the bigger if we have bigger solid so it, it stops stuck here and then we have uh, some uh, kind of sieve here it's stuck here and, and then some drops of water which is which, very clean it's come down in the in the jar so a sieve uh, is a kind of filter but most filters have much smaller holes scientists use filter paper to separate mixtures filter paper has very tiny holes, not small very tiny holes and stay strong when it it uh, gets wet so it doesn't tear easily so a funnel is a cone shape piece this one it's a shape piece of equipment that can be used to support the filter paper. We are putting the filter paper here and then above it we are putting the funnel. Let's start uh, questions. Use this picture to explain to a friend how the filter could be used to separate a mixture of sand and water. So we are using simple a uh, filter paper, a filter paper to separate water from sand. Make a simple filter. You can make it. It's very easy. Even you can use a paper towel. So Arun and Sophia are using things they find in their classroom to make a filter. Obviously, you are using a drinking bottle. So you can also put a filter, a tissue paper and you can check it some water coming out and there are any kind of dust any kind of dirt it's still on the tissue paper they have a plastic cup and a paper towel they want to use their their simple filter to separate a mixture of sand and water like this one a paper a, a cup of water and a filter paper so make a simple filter like this what do you predict will happen obviously when you putting uh, putting some kind of liquid water so the water uh, the dirt stay on the filter paper and the clean water go down into the cup try it to, to see what uh, uh, whether your prediction is correct what other mixture could you separate using a simple filter like this talk with your friend and uh, about this idea filtering waste water it's it has more dust so how you make filter large filters like these are used to make waste water clean so the water drip through different layers mostly uh, in, uh, in desert countries like uh, Gulf countries, so there it's desert, a lot of desert. So they have uh, they have a lot of problem with water. So they have uh, ocean water to clean it and then separate in the country. So that um, 
the ocean water, how they clean it, it has a lot of dirt inside, most salt there. So they are using filtration plant. So the water drips through what different layers including rocks, gravels and sand inside the waste water, this uh, waste or dirty water. The different layer filters are different size piece of uh, waste. So they are not using only one filter, they are using first uh, three different uh, stages. First of all, the bigger, the bigger item, bigger material stopped in the first, in the second, in the third, in the fourth, like this. In the four or five, uh, they have steps. So after this, the clean water come up. So the different layers filter out different size pieces of waste. So they are using different layers of filter. The first layer, the second layer, the third layer, their sizes, their holes, it's depend. And the last one, it has uh, the tiny, the filter it has, it has a tiny hole so it's more clean as much as possible make a layer of filter you will need some dirty water in a cup some sand some gravel some stones some cotton wools and or fabric and a large plastic bottle that has been cut in half like this one there is a layer filter you can see here there are layer of different material in the bottle each layer cover the material below so observe the dirty water carefully what solid piece can you see how large are they what size hole will you need to stop the solid going through the filter be careful with the with any sharp edge like stones where the plastic has been cut do not drink the water Make a filter with different layers that you can think will be will make the water clean. Obviously, you are using a dirty water. So in different stages, small stone, sand layer and cotton wool. And this is the last one, cotton wool layer. So even uh, it's coming down. Small layer, if there is small, uh, there are some kind of dirt, sand, it's top here. As it's coming down, down. So there are any more dirt, it's top in the cotton wool. And then the clean water come down. What you have learned in this lesson i can draw a diagram to show how to separate a mixture of a solid and a liquid using the filtration method i can draw a clear diagram i can record my observation in table and okay done until here in the next video the next lesson 2.5 goodbye